All right, here we have the other half of the system that was shown in the previous video. Uh, last video we showed the solar collector, and now we're showing the circulator pump, controller, tank, um, the motorized check valve, mixing valve, piping, all that kind of stuff. Um, now you'll notice this heater has all kinds of exposed piping here um, and wiring. That's because we had to move it um, originally the heater that came with the house was in this little closet. It was a 40 gallon and it wasn't even supposed to be there by code because it was actually obstructing the electrical breaker panel. So uh, PEX lines were ran overhead and the heater was put out here with a drain pan that uh, drains out the exterior as you can see there. Um, this is my personal water heater so I really don't care because this is sort of a mechanical room. Nobody really goes in here. Um, so I didn't really spend any time putting any of this stuff inside the wall um, just because I'd, I'd rather have it visible. People ask me questions about it, you know, I can point to stuff and show them where the things go. Um, basically what we have here is a disconnect for it that I put in. Um, this allows me to disconnect power quickly without wearing out the breaker in the electrical panel. Um, and that allows me to actually get a better solar fraction out of it during the summer when I know that I have plenty of heat. Um, that allows me to fill up the entire tank with solar heated water and use every last bit of it uh, without having to rely on the electrical backup element here. Um, but if at any time I don't have enough water, um, like say if I have guests coming over and um, you know I don't want them to have to get out of the shower and come in here and flip that lever, um, I'll go ahead and turn it on as it is right now and that way if the water level is consumed um, up to this point and we got about 30 gallons here um, that would be supplied by the electrical element um, you know, I'll go ahead and leave that lever on and that way we'll never actually run out of hot water but most of the time that switch is in the off position and it runs completely off of solar with no electrical backup and that gives me an extra 30 gallons of water here um, that can be solar heated water versus heated by the electrical backup. Um, here we have a mixing valve and this allows me to keep my water tempered down to 120 degrees um, which makes it safe and um, it also reduces losses going through the piping system. Um, these are the isolation valves here which allow us to isolate the collector loop from the tank. Um, it's hard to see with all this foam insulation but there's a circulator pump here and a motorized check valve here. And then we have two service ports here which allows me to drain the collector down manually if I need to um, or circulate a cleaning solution if it starts getting limed up and the performance were to go down. Uh, not that that happens here in this part of Florida that much but you know, I can if I need to. Um, let's see what else is there. Uh, we have our main shutoff valve here. And uh, there's actually a heat trap loop over here. You can't see it because the whole thing's covered in urethane foam, but the pipe actually goes up and then goes back down before it tees over to that mixing valve. So it keeps the heat from convecting up into these pipes. And the mixing valve has uh, check valves built into it. It's a Honeywell valve, so that stops convection um, over on the hot pipe. Uh, the pump just kicked on. You can actually see both lights running, so we're collecting heat right now. And uh, basically we have a 80 gallon tank here in place of a 40 gallon, and that's so that we have a day or two um, of heat. So if I have two days of bad weather, I could just survive off of the heat in the tank and uh, not have to rely on that electrical backup. You know, if I have three days of bad weather, obviously the electrical backup will have to kick on. Um, not much we can do about that. So uh, yeah, I realize the urethane foam doesn't look great, but uh, it actually has the highest R value available for any sort of pipe insulation. And um, I'm the kind of guy that likes function over form. I don't care if it looks bad, as long as it works really well. And uh, this thing actually holds heat incredibly well. Um, I've gone an entire week before with no sun and not had to turn on that backup element just because it's so efficient at holding the heat. So uh, there it is. That's your Active Direct Florida hot water system.